iCanada. My name is Alex Benet. I'm the president and CEO of the Canada Science and Technology Museum. As many of you know, the museum closed in 2014 and the team is extremely hard at work in relaunching the museum. It's going to be a fully digital immersive experience where the past meets the future, where the physical meets the virtual. We're really trying to hit a home run with this completely different immersive kind of heritage experience. One of the first steps we took here at part of the renewal was the need to put together a master interpretive concept plan. We've reached out across the country through our surveys and, and other opportunities to introduce the members to the new ideas we're bringing into the museum. So we're going to take these ideas and we're going to synthesize them into categories of visitor experience. When we go into those design phases, we'll have some, uh, some building blocks. What we hope to do is uh, take what they have, what their strength is, which is the amazing collection, and add a layer of interactivity so that when families with kids come through here, there are things for them to do where they can really get hands-on with the scientific principles. I'd say the, the main difference between starting from scratch on a new facility and rebuilding within the framework of an existing facility is that an existing facility has the staff, the collection, the expertise in-house, and that is a tremendous opportunity. We are basically recreating a new museum. The only thing that stays is the trains and the crazy kitchen. So what are visitors who come through the door going to see, hear, touch and do? There'll be showcases on the wall, floor to ceiling glass. There'll be showcases that are encased in the ground, as well as when the visitors are walking along the alley, you'll see artifacts from all segments of the collection, communication, transportation, um, it'll, it'll all be there. It's really meant to be an aesthetic experience, just to see the beauty and the variety in the collection. We're looking for something dynamic, active, interactive, immersive, and highly digital in the new museum. One of the ways in which uh, this Science and Technology Museum is different than many science centres across Canada is that it has this fantastic uh, uh, collection. So it's got objects that nobody else in Canada has. It's going to be a, a much more engaging museum. Uh, people are going to want to come to it uh, and, uh, and not only come in through the doors, but part of the national mandate for the museum is to take the science and technology experience that happens in Ottawa across Canada. We're on a countdown here at the Canada Science and Technology Museum until we reopen in the fall of 2017. And I can tell you that all the staff are incredibly excited about those first visitors coming through the doors, watching kids interacting with the new museum, seeing those wow moments in the adults' eyes for families, for grandparents, and watching them interact with the new displays is something that we're all driving towards. It's going to be celebrating the first 50 years of the institution in style. Maybe in a way that we never would have had an opportunity to do without the closure. But it's also going to hopefully set the stage for the next 50 years. It's going to be fun.